Hello and welcome to the Self-Reliance Outfitters Tip of the Week. I am Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel here on YouTube. And today I wanted to talk to you about the multifunctionality of something that you're probably already carrying in your kit, and that is coffee. Most of us love to wake up on a cool morning in camp and brew up that perfect cup of coffee, sit by the fire and sip it. That definitely makes it worthwhile to carry coffee in your kit. However, that same coffee can serve another purpose as well, and that is to help you make fire. So today I wanna to show you that process, how it works. Stick with me and we'll get started. All right, so what I have here is just a healthy tender bundle of tulip poplar bark, and it's well prepared. And this is my coffee kit, which I always carry with me in my pack. And what I have here is just a tin with some coffee in it. And these are just regular coffee grinds like you would use in your coffee maker at home. And what you wanna do is scoot just a nice little amount of that in the center of your bird nest. You don't really wanna be stingy with that because the more coffee you use, the bigger the ember that you'll ultimately have. So use those accordingly. If you really need a fire, you don't wanna skimp. Now what I have here is just my magnifying glass. So this will be like making any other solar fire. Right now I have pretty good sunlight, so hopefully this won't take a long time. I'm just gonna focus my magnifying glass right in the center of that little pile of coffee grinds. I already see a little bit of smoke coming up. Kinda, there we go, that cloud's subsiding. I can tell, you see the smoke getting a lot stronger right there. This is one of those things you just have to play with. You can't rush it. You just have to deal with the sun as it's given to you. That's looking a lot better. All right, so now, hopefully you can see right in the center of that bird nest, I have a nice little ember there. And I'm gonna give that just a minute to let it grow. You can see that ember has become a lot more healthy now. I'm getting a lot more smoke from it. So now's the time that I want to go for fire. That one was a little bit stubborn. All right, so you can see my tender bundle was a little bit stubborn, probably had some moisture in it. However, with that magnifying glass and those dry coffee grinds, it was very easy to get a healthy ember to use for starting a fire. And while coffee is very much so worth carrying just to drink it, now it's multifunctional and it's even more valuable in your kit. Because of the way we carry coffee, it's most likely gonna be dry even in a wet environment. And so in a worst case scenario, we have that dry material to back us up to create an ember if we have sunlight and a magnifying glass and that will allow us to make a fire or give us one more tool for making that fire. I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in for this tip of the week video. If you've not subscribed to the Self-Reliance Outfitters channel, I hope that you will. There'll be a lot of upcoming tip videos from David Canterbury, Sean Kelly, Josh Ingert, Kevin Baxter, and myself. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please check out my channel, Black Hat Bushcraft, here on YouTube. And we look forward to coming back to you with another tip of the week video very soon. Until the next one, take care. You guys be safe.